Yeah, as it turns out, I mean, I think everybody's biography is probably, <laughs> you know, incredibly formative to how they think about the world, but certainly mine has been. Um, so I uh, grew up in a family um, that did not practice a religion or anything like that. My mother and father were divorced when I was four. Then my mom remarried right away, um, moved us to Maine. I had been born in New Hampshire, moved to Maine. Um, she was married to her second husband for about eight years, and then they were divorced. And then she kind of lived a single life um, during my teen years, which was very tumultuous for me. Um, and then she went on to get married again when I was um, 17, and she moved to Holland, the country, the Netherlands, um, right when I went off to college. So that's her history. What was going on for me at that time, um, at the age of 13, actually, I started experimenting with alcohol and other substances and doing all the things that you can imagine a girl does when she has substances in her, which I won't get into too much detail of. Um, and um, that really, um, I was a pretty big athlete. I wasn't a great student. I was a fine student, but I was a really, really um, talented athlete at that point. And I pretty much everything kind of fell apart, as you can imagine. Um, kind of uh, my relationships with boys was, were really, really unhealthy and um, destructive to myself, basically. So other than the divorces, as you can imagine, um, the two very important kind of catalysts for um, the, you know, that drove me to change my life entirely was when I was um, 16, um, a dear friend of mine took his own life. Um, and w the remarkable thing is that I um, had a really hard time crying, like everyone around me was grieving and I just couldn't really cry. So I got into counseling um, and immediately started crying and immediately started sort of looking at my life. That propelled me, I mean, just the honesty with the counselor who like cared about me in a way. Uh, propelled me into a lot of introspection. Right at like 16, 17, I actually started going to 12-step meetings, started getting into kind of new age spirituality, reading a lot of self-help books. Um, so by the time I got to Middlebury, I was um, going to 12-step meetings every day and had stopped, you know, substances and all that and um, was very deeply spiritual. So really believed in God, saw God as um, put my trust in God, prayed to God all the time, but it was very much kind of a 12-step God. Like there was, I was still at that point anti-Christian, if that all makes sense, even though as I learned um, in the years to come that um, the 12 steps were really quite grounded in, in a Christian um, understanding of, of God, but just without, you know, sort of the theology, but a, but a deep sort of understanding of, of the way in which God can kind of save us from ourselves. So um, was very into that and um, did the steps and it really revolutionized my life. Um, started to just become a bit more focused on others instead of my own belly button. And around, right around that time, I left after my freshman year, went back to um, Maine, and my um, dear, another dear friend, another dear male friend who I spent the whole summer with, he was deeply depressed, and at the end of the summer, he took his own life. And, um, and that just shook me to the core. Um, and it, and That's I, a lot at that it's age. It's a lot at that That's age. That's a lot, wow. Yep. So as you can imagine, um, I wasn't sort of your average 19-year-old at that point.